So if you guys didn't know, there's various ways of upgrading your pickaxe slash weapons slash anything like that in the shop. And basically, you can use your tokens to do so. If you guys didn't know, there's bike tokens on this server. They can be earned through a various different ways. You can actually buy them from the bycraft as well. You know, there's a bunch of different ways that you can get tokens. And I've actually got a bunch of them today. And we're going to be looking at upgrading our pickaxe because obviously our pickaxe is good. Like it, we, we have a very, very good pickaxe, but it could be a lot better okay so what i want to do today is pretty much work on my pickaxe and use the tokens that we do have to uh to make our pickaxe a little bit better but welcome everybody to a brand new episode of prisons here on by mc if you guys are excited for this video please do smash that like button it would be much appreciated you guys have been enjoying these episodes so far so please do smash that like button it does mean a lot and of course it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos because you know without you hitting that i i never know you know i never freaking know you could you could be hating these videos now I would never know and you know that's not okay so you guys gotta help us out as you guys remember a few episodes ago i was trying to decorate my plot and i couldn't actually find anything in the shop like i couldn't find bow meal or anything like that but what i've just realized is that there is warp d shop right here and this is a donator shop so i believe anyone that's donated has access to this shop now this is a shop that does indeed sell pretty much everything that we need obviously the the items are fairly expensive from here but they are of course the items that you can't get usually so we can get bow meal we can get everything like that so so, you know it's actually not that bad so we're gonna go ahead and buy up a bunch of different things right here and uh if we go i'll probably get a couple more of these actually because i need four per big tree that i'm gonna make so let me go plot homes if you guys didn't know that then that's kind of cool because i didn't know that before uh before figuring it out either so yeah that is actually a thing d shop is a thing so let's do one right here uh, there we go. We've got some nice big trees on our plot now. I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it. I'm freaking McDonald's over here. I'm loving it. All right, there we go. So then I just want to, you know, go ahead with the general grassy areas because... I don't know. I always love the way that bone mill works. Like, I think this is such a cool thing in the game that you can literally just run around with something and that, that makes flowers and makes it all look, all look very, very nice. Because if we have a look now... At, at the front of my plot. Okay, let's compare sides, all right? Ready? Look how beautifully natural this side looks. And then look how beautifully unnatural this side looks. <laughs> like, there's such a, such a huge difference. And it's, I don't know, it just kind of blows my mind sometimes. But yeah, this is uh, this is looking really, really good. I like it. By the end of today's episode, I also want to have a item uh, donation thing right here because I've noticed a lot of people trying to drop me items on the server, which, by the way, I do very much appreciate. So thank you. But I feel like I should have hoppers just because I, I sometimes don't get all the stuff in my inventory or you guys drop it and I'm like standing right here and it drops right here and it then clear lags. So I don't want that to happen. I don't want you guys to lose your items, so I'm gonna make one of these on this side Hopefully by the end of this episode for uh, for all the items that you guys want to drop me now guys Like I mentioned we are gonna be upgrading our pickaxe today with the tokens that we do have if we do token Balance right here or if I could spell token balance right there We have actually 701 tokens, which is by the way a lot of tokens So we've got tokens to spend today now. This is how our pickaxe is currently looking We have efficiency 103 and breaking 83 fortune 36 explosion 3 and lucky minor 1 now by the end of today I'm hoping to have explosion 5 by the minimum and possibly some additional enchants as well So what we're gonna do right now is we are going to do a slash token shop to bring up all of the available purchase that we have So if you guys I obviously we, we know that we've got 700 now There's a bunch of different things in here that we could get now if we have a look through all the enchants We have haste which obviously is gonna make you mine with haste so that that's kind of self-explanatory We don't have that on our pickaxe yet, so I am considering adding that just because that would be a cool feature um, experience we don't really need experience when we're mining we don't have much reason for experience so I'm not gonna bother with that vein miner this is an enchant which is actually coming soon which I'm super super stoked for I can't wait for this enchant to come and uh, show it to you guys so I will get that at some point explosion which is obviously what we've got but we'd be upgrading it to four if we bought it right there lucky miner which is 250 we, we could upgrade that to level two or speed so I don't really need speed to be honest like speeds kind of cool but we don't really need it but what I do want is I want to get explosion. So let's upgrade that bad boy right there. So there we go. We have explosion four on the pickaxe right now. So that is a very, very good upgrade. So I'm then going to go all the way out to explosion five right there. And we're also going to add haste onto this bad boy just so that it does 
mine that little bit faster as well. I don't really know if haste has a massive benefit, simply for the fact that if you think about it, my pickaxe already has efficiency 100. Like, how much is haste going to affect it, if that makes sense? So, we'll have to see because I don't even have a haste effect right now. Maybe if we go to one of the mines, we will. Um, but yeah, from what I can see right now, you don't actually even get a haste, uh, haste effect. So, but I guess they probably does make a difference in some way because otherwise they wouldn't bother doing it. You know, they wouldn't, they, they, they wouldn't have it there. But yeah, this is this is how it's looking currently, guys. And uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not it's not bad. You know, I'm I'm quite like my pickaxe. In fact, there there is actually quite a big improvement with that with that two levels of explosion that we've just added. Look what happens now when it explodes. Literally like a freaking crater in the mine. Like that's so so intense that that. Oh my goodness, like, I love it. Dude, this is going to make me so much more money now. Um, Even though it's not, like, I don't know, it's not hugely visible, I guess. But it, it's going to make me so much more money. Like, you guys have no idea. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and make the item donation section for my plot right now. Just because I feel like, you know, it does need to be done. Obviously, I've got, oops, I've got to work a little bit. Because if I think about it, I've got to go and get, a, like, somewhere to collect all the stuff from. So, you know, I'm going to have to do this a slightly different way than I thought I would. But it's okay. Oh, my goodness. I can't even, I can't even place blocks today, guys. I literally don't know what's going on. Um, let's see. Can we just make this exactly the same? How is that one? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, how many blocks wide is it? It is one, two, three, four, five, and yeah, they should be should be about there. So one, two, wait, that's two, three, four, five, six, I believe, because it has a wall as well. Um, let's just double check that actually. Well, it needs to fit two chests in it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right right there. So perfect. All right, let's put the roof on that bad boy right there. And then how does it go? It goes all the way around like that. And then we will have the hoppers down below. And we just get rid of some of this beautiful grass that we placed. Is it just quartz all the way at the back? Yes, it is indeed. All right, perfect. That makes it a little bit easier on me now that I know that it's just quartz. Perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to change all of these right here to hoppers. We're going to do it on the back ones though, just to make sure that it's all, uh, you know, all fitting and everything. So I'm actually going to change these blocks right here to quartz as well. Do you know what would be kind of cool is if we had like a secret entrance down here in the uh, in in the pool. I think we're going to do that actually. Let's do that. We're, we're going to have a little secret entrance that goes, wait, is this in line with it? Oh my goodness, it actually is. But would that one be more in line? Ah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, Let's actually do that. So what we're going to need is a sign. Obviously, it's not going to be very, very secret because you guys all know about it now. So it's, uh, you know, the, the only people that really need to know about it are going to know about it. So it's not really that secret, is it? Um, But it's all good. So let's make that right there. And let's put a sign down here. So if I put the sign right there, that should block off any water from below. Yes, it does. Perfect. So if I now continue the quartz pattern in here, then this should look pretty freaking good if I do say so myself. There we go. We found that we literally found the place that we just tried to, to get to. That's great. All right. Perfect. So now if we mine this out a little bit, there we go. And I don't know if I can buy um, a chest from the shop. I don't think I can. So we're just going to have to make some real quick. Oh, does that mean I can't buy? Wait, warp D shop. Let's see if they're in the D shops just so that I don't have to bother making them. Wow, I my, my laziness is not going to prevail today because you cannot even buy them. But you can buy hoppers right here, which is kind of what I need. So um, let's buy those real quick. How many do I need? I think there was a four block gap. Just, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Just, just hope that there is. Come on, please be four. Please be four. Oh, it's five. I knew it was. I freaking knew it was. I don't know why. I just kind of, I thought in my head that it was, but I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't be. But it's all good. Um, So let's go plot home again. Oops, if I could spell. There we go. Plot home. All right. So how is this going to work then? All right. Perfect. So we've got all that lined up now. So this will officially be the item donation uh, kind of place. So what we're going to do is, what does this sign look like? Just so that we know. Cash donations. So let's do hoppers below. There we go. Item donations. Perfect. So now, theoretically, if you drop something in there like that, those hoppers should pick it up. And then we can go down our cheeky little escape route right here. Boom, straight down here. And then it should appear in some of these chests right here. Let's see where it went. There, right in that chest right there. Perfect. So this is our little cheeky escape room, I guess. Um, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to block this up because I don't like that right there. Um, I, I do want to think of a really, really cool design. I feel like I should make this look like a mine shaft. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. And uh, yeah, we will go ahead and do that at some point. 
Now, I think that is pretty cool because that's one of the last things I wanted to like really, really do on my plot. Obviously, I still need to design and get some uh, get some trees and such around that other side. But that is that is one of the touches which I definitely wanted to add just to make those two sides even. Now, one of the things which I wanted to speak about quickly, guys, is something which I want to actually be doing um, kind of this weekend, maybe. I... I if my data allows it, because basically, if you guys don't know, my Wi-Fi is out right now, and every, all of my videos are being uploaded from my data and such like that. Um, basically, I uh, want to do a very, very long live stream. There we go. We've got we've got all of our keys right there. Let's, let's just head over to Warp Crates whilst I talk about this. So, I want to do a live stream, essentially, where I just go from A to Z on my old account, this is, without any donor perks and nothing like that so i want to do a live stream that literally takes forever basically um and obviously have loads of you guys there with me to to, to cheer me on or whatever but basically i will be doing the the stream and i'll be ranking up as if i didn't have any ranks as if you guys weren't paying me anything such like that so it would literally be like as if i were you guys you know if, if you didn't have people trying to pay you the whole time and such like that then that's basically how i want to be doing it so let me know if you guys want to see that because I want to try and make it happen this weekend. I can't promise anything though just because like I said my data is what I'm relying on right now and recently it has been slow so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it but we will have to see. So what I want to do like I said go from A to Z no donor perks no nothing like that. literally just anything that you can actually get from playing the game so like voting will count and such like that so that's what i want to do let me know if you guys want to see that because i'm i'm kind of excited to do it i think i'm going to do it even if you guys say that you don't want to see it just because it seems like a really really fun idea and who knows that may even turn into a little mini series of its own doing that on different servers and such seeing you know if I can rank up without, you know, or how long it takes me to rank up without any donor perks, without any ranks, without anyone paying me any money. Just because I'm kind of intrigued, you know, how long it takes from different servers. And of course, it sets a little bit of a challenge for you guys if you beat me. And who knows, you know, if I manage to set a time, maybe I can get a giveaway going for anyone that does beat me. Of course, you would need to record video evidence or something like that just to just to make sure that, you know, we know exactly how long you took to, to rank up and such. But yeah, definitely let me know if that's something you guys would like to see because I'm kind of keen to do that. And I think it would be a really, really cool stream. I feel like you win quite regularly on these slot machines. Like, I, I don't know what the chances and rates are exactly, but I feel like you do win quite often, which I kind of like about it because it makes it, you know, it kind of makes you feel like you're not going to always lose your money or I guess you don't lose any money because they don't technically cost you anything. But um, yeah, I guess, you know, it's kind of cool. All right, let's end off today's episode with our regular, with the kit keys. Let's see what we're going to get. So super key, three, two, one, boom. We're going to get an ultra key out of the super crate. Let's freaking go, dude. That is literally the best crate key tier. We literally just got that out of a super crate. Are you kidding me? Yo, that's intense. All right, legendary key. Three, two, one, boom. We got two high baller slot machines. Let's just roll these straight away. Yo, I can't actually believe that we just got an ultra key from that. That's actually mental. Oh, we're going to get a win from that, actually. That was 25 bill that we just got from this whole high roller machine. That is a GG if I do say so myself. I think we might even win again right here. Yes, we will. We're going to win again. Another 25 bill, taking us up to 56 billion. In fact, we can keep ranking up. And let me get a few more rank up keys here, depending on how many we can use. I think we can use quite a few. There we go. Um, let's just quickly spam all these, get some more of those tokens. <laughs> what else do we get? Um, I don't actually know what we got. Oh, wait, what the heck? We got a legendary crate from ranking up. Yo, what is going on today? We are literally getting all the wins right now. Boom. Legend pickaxe. I'll take it. We always seem to get that legend pickaxe, like, pretty much once per episode at this rate. Like, I I'm pretty sure we're getting it once per episode. I've had a few wins from this uh, basic slot machine, but the problem is with the basic ones is you really don't get much money at all. So, it's kind of, you know, like, a little bit anticlimactic. Whenever you win, it's like, uh, you've only won, like, you know, 10 mil or whatever, but that's fine. So, it's now time to open two ultra crate keys today because we essentially... I can't believe we got one out of a super crate. Like, I don't even know what the chance... It does it say the chances in here? It doesn't, but it's literally the rarest thing that you can get out of it that we just won. I'm not even freaking mad. I don't know about you guys, but here we go. Let's go with our ultra crate key. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. We're going to win TNT bombs. We're going to win level eight bombs. Not bad right there. All right. Second crate key. Three, two, one, boom. The legend set. I don't think I've ever had a legend set. What the heck? Is this like the bet? Is it better than quantum though? Sharpness 16 on the sword. What is the quantum sword? 15. Interesting. So we actually just got probably the best set of armor that you can get. I'm not even freaking mad about that. That is a good win right there. And, ooh, I actually wondered, does it one-shot the mobs in the mob arena, do you think? 
Hmm, that's what I'm kind of curious about right now. Let's go test that real quick just because I want to I want to see if we've actually just found the best uh, Mob, you know grinding sword right there So let's just do that and then we're gonna take this over to the warp mobs real quick Let's see even without strength will it one shot any of the mobs. I know that it obviously okay. It doesn't one shot them uh, Obviously one shot spiders just because that's the thing. Um, what about skeletons? I'm assuming not skeletons. I'm assuming not creepers Everything will be a two shot though. What about a crit? Oh, wow. Oh, wait. I think that was the zombie I maybe already hit. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, wait. It one shots creepers on a crit. Does it? Yeah, okay. It doesn't one shot zombies on a crit. But it definitely one shots creepers on a crit. I think. I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm pretty sure it does though. Yo, these spiders are mad. These spiders are freaking mad, bro. What about witches? Two shots? Yeah, I would assume so. Oh, that's pretty cool though. That's pretty cool. And what it does mean whenever I have my kit potions, I think the strength one um, Let's just try it just to make sure but I'm pretty sure the strength one will indeed uh, kill them in one hit now With this sword. Yes, it will. Yes, it freaking will. Oh wait, what the heck? It didn't kill that one. That's so random. What the heck? Wait, it doesn't it doesn't kill him. Oh No, bro Oh no, it's okay though. It's okay. Like it's still it's still a really really good sword. Either way, we got a good set of armor. So I'm not even uh, I'm not even mad about it. It's probably the best set of armor that you can get. I would imagine straight like straight up out of anything raw armor at least. Um, I would assume. Please don't poison me, witch. Please don't poison me, witch. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's always so annoying. It's just so annoying when those witches poison you. Like I don't know, dude. It takes takes forever for it to go away. All right, I'm out of here because this place is getting me killed by freaking mobs, dude. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the peacefulness of my plot, which, by the way, isn't very peaceful whenever they do a purge. Let me tell you that. PvP gets enabled on plots for a certain amount of time, and let me tell you, that is freaking carnage. But yeah, guys, definitely let me know in the comment section if you do want to see that live stream in which I go from A to Z with no donor perks. So I'll do it on my own. I'll make sure that, you know, I can't get paid, etc, etc. Let me know if you guys do want to see that because I think it'd be a really, really cool video. Um, what I'll do if I do that is I will stream it on Twitch as long as it takes me and then I'll upload highlights to YouTube as an episode. So definitely let me know if you guys want to see that. If you do, then that'd be much appreciated. And, you know, I would love to do it. So if you guys want to see it then just let me know. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. If you've enjoyed this episode at any point at all, please do consider smashing that like button. It just, you know, it lets me know that you guys did enjoy it and it just helps me out, like motivational wise, it helps me out, okay guys. But of course, if you are new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, or maybe you're not new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. Over 80% of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed, which is a huge, huge, huge amount. So please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers, and I honestly really do want to hit that by the end of the year. That's my kind of goal for the year. So if we do manage to hit that, that'll be absolutely insane, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I shall see you on the next episode of OP Prisons here on Bite MC. Got the horses in my pin. Name tag is attached. Armor is diamonds. Got the boots that's blue to match. Saddle on this horse. You can ride your cart. I've been in the nether. You ain't been about that house now.